So previously we've seen that a current carrying wire produces a magnetic field. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can put that phenomenon to work every day. So to do that, let's take our current carrying wire and wrap it up in a circle. So imagine we took a loop of wire and hooked it up to a battery. So the current coming out of this wire would move counterclockwise as I've drawn this. Now you'll remember, we determine the direction of the magnetic field around a wire using the right hand roll. So according to the right hand roll, if we were to grab a wire that was carrying current and point our thumb in the direction of the current, our fingers would wrap in the direction of the magnetic field. So looking at our wire here, if I was to grab this point on the wire right here, with my thumb pointed up along that, that side of the wire, my fingers would curl around the wire like this. But if I was to do the same thing over here and to grab the wire on this left side of the wire, we would see my thumb would be pointed down and the magnetic field would effectively be reversed. My fingers are curling in the opposite direction or I have to contort my arm around backwards to make my thumb pointed down over here. And so what we see is that on the outside of this loop, a magnetic field is formed into the page. You'll see over here, curling my fingers around, my fingers would be pointed into the page on the right hand side of the loop. And they would also be pointed or curled into the page on the left hand side of the loop. Now to show a magnetic field that is running into the page, because that's in three dimensions, we're really trying to show an arrow going into the page. So imagine we had an arrow shot from a bow. If the arrow was going away from us, we would see the back edge of the arrow or the fletching or feathers. Now inside this loop of current carrying wire, we would see a magnetic field that is always coming out of the page. So again, imagine an arrow shot from a bow towards you, you would see the front of the arrow or the point of the arrow. And this is really important because inside this loop of current carrying wire, we form a very strong magnetic field all in the same direction. Now the magnetic field here can be pretty tough to visualize. So I'm gonna draw this from a different angle so that hopefully it's a little clearer as to exactly what's going on here. So looking at our battery and our loop of current carrying wire from an angle, we'll see a magnetic field that looks a bit like this. So here you can see the magnetic field is coming up out of the middle of this loop of wire and then back down around the outside of the wire. Now, just like with gravitational field lines or electric field lines, when the magnetic field lines are close together, that means the magnetic field is strong. And so essentially what this means is that by coiling up a current carrying wire, we can produce a strong magnetic field. Really all we've done is we've made an electromagnet. So if I take this electromagnet and I hook it up to a battery, I've produced a magnetic field. And you'll see just like with a permanent magnet, no matter where I hold this compass around my electromagnet, the compass is always going to align with the magnetic field. Or I could do something like pick up paper clips. and we call a coiled up loop of current carrying wire like this, a solenoid. See, a solenoid is nothing other than a whole bunch of loops of wire all wound together with current passing through that wire. So by running current through all the wire in a solenoid, that solenoid will produce a magnetic field. which in this case is to the left. Realize it's not really any different than the magnetic field which was produced by a single loop of current carrying wire up here. So here we have a large solenoid. And if I hook this up to a battery, 
this solenoid is going to produce a magnetic field. And you can see that on this compass, the compass is pointing or aligned with the magnetic field coming out the end of the solenoid. Now, if I was to take a permanent magnet and try to stick it in the end of this solenoid, you'll see the solenoid just pushes the magnet right back out. Now, if I wanted to put the magnet in there and have it stay, all I would have to do is unplug the battery. Now that solenoid will keep the magnet inside of it. So this can be extremely useful in any situation where we want to have some kind of plunger fire out or in, we can use something like a solenoid. Now this isn't just used for launching magnets across the room, although it's kind of fun. Uh, this can be used for something like car door locks or used for something like sprinkler valve systems. And also this can be used on very high end intake and exhaust valves in extremely expensive cars, which unfortunately I don't have one of those to show to you. I've got a Subaru. So realize solenoids are used everywhere in our regular lives. And that's all because really a current carrying wire produces a magnetic field. And on that note, that's all for now.